Hello, good people of the web. Here's Paul again. Welcome back to the studio and to another episode of my studio session series. As you can see, all the rig is on. So now let's turn it off. Because today I actually want to make a totally different episode for you. It's needless actually to say much about these specific times we're living in called COVID pandemic. We're already probably all tired with this. We all need this to end up as soon as possible, but many things indicate that still it might take a while before we fully get back to normal. By then we still have to manage and find the ways to go on and get by. And actually, well, this is a very personal, individual thing. There are no how-tos, there are no tutorials. So I'm not going to tell you how to manage COVID pandemic or how to run a studio during COVID pandemic. But I believe I found some of my very personal ways of getting by, of, of like... Uh, tackling all the obstacles and difficulties and to taking some proper advantage of this situation. And I just wanted to share it with you today, guys, and I hope you find it interesting, you find it inspiring too, and you don't find it too controversial because it's not meant to be so. It's not going to be political, it's not going to be medical, it's still going to be very studio-wise. And I hope it's going to be somehow usable, especially for those of you who are running your project small studios as your part-time or full-time small business. So let's get it on and I'll share my thoughts with you. I'm also gonna teleport myself through the studio a bit just to make it a little bit more interesting picture-wise. My first thought, like the first part of the first thought, let's call it 1A, is do not try to acquire new clients. Do not run after your clients. Uh, probably they have hands empty and new clients are not going to come to your studio in old ways. All the media, TV, film, music industry more or less pressed a stop button. I think it's good to remember about this, but then there's thought I would call 1B. Try doing all the things you had no time for so far. Use your time for this. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually really doing it. I'm vlogging for you more, which I enjoy a lot really. And all the feedback I'm getting makes me feel really good, makes me want to make more for you and go on. And the second thing I did, and I really had no time for this in my business before, and it was like a missing thing for me. And now it became an advantage of this studio. I made, a, I made a new one, a huge one, a good one, database of voiceover talents. And most of them are ready to record for us remotely and business-wise. It was the best thing I could do and I did it just right away. And it was a great shot. It already gave us some great basic but still great in our situation revenues. The third thing that happened, I launched two Facebook groups. First one is called in Polish Corona Cultures and it's aimed at social groups that create cultures. So directors, actors, musicians, culture managers, writers, etc., etc., all the people that create what we call culture, because culture in general is also threatened these days, and it's good to support each other, to create new contacts, to exchange ideas, and to try to move forward together. The second group I created is called Plaginy Dawy Takie Tam Sprawy, which is in English, let's say, plugins, DOS, and stuff like that. And this group is aimed at people who use pro audio and music creation software, because we did not have a Polish group for that, I believe, strictly for audio software, excluding hardware. And well, I thought it's maybe a good idea to start one. And appeared it is a good idea, and I really do enjoy seeing both the groups growing so quickly 
in the matter of hours, I like the, the, the picture of people exchanging knowledge and ideas so quickly. And here's another thought directly connected with the previous one. I have a feeling that people knowing that the old ways don't really work that well anymore are hungry actually for new ideas, new ways of working and new ways of cooperating, especially online. So do not be afraid to come up with new ideas and to collaborate, especially online. And this way, me and the studio got into a new series of audiobooks, audiobooks and audio plays, another thing I never had time for and now I do. Uh, I also got involved in a team working on an online interactive game based on audio recordings. Not a team and me, we applied to a Polish Ministry of Culture with a series of audio plays based on Shakespeare's dramas. So yeah, come up with new ideas. Of course, try to prepare your ideas well, think them all over, consult them, also listen carefully to what others got to say, but let's do it. And I just mentioned a Ministry of Culture, right? Yeah, there's one more thought to be connected to the previous one. If there's any public help in your country, in your area, probably there is something. Do not miss your chance to apply for it. If it's a scholarship, it's, if it's an additional funding on, or refunding or any discounts on, on any payments, just go for it and please do not miss it. It's really gonna help you to sustain and keep your small business. Welcome to the studio number two with another thought. Well, I think that's a, in general important to somehow work socially in the communities you're involved in, especially these days. So I somehow maybe encourage you to contribute to all the social groups you're involved in. It's gonna keep people stronger together as individuals and as a group. It's gonna be easier for you maybe to come up with new brilliant ideas. It's maybe gonna be easier to help somebody who really needs it. And actually it's gonna somehow keep you mentally stronger. That's what I believe and this is what I experience as well. And well, you know, I think it's just my very personal view, but when you produce and emanate with something good, usually it comes back to you, so expect all the good that you produce to get back to you one day. Yeah, and this one's gonna be quite simple, I think, obvious maybe, but I still believe it's good to say it out loud. If you experience some financial trouble in your business, in your project studio, you know what? Do not be afraid to reach out for help among your family members, or your friends, some of them might work for businesses that are immune to what's happening. Some of them might just have some financial resources to help you out. Of course, when it's time, be prepared to give all the money back. But yeah, why not to just ask for help? I think it's the same for mental health. If you feel depressed, if you're anxious, just go and ask for professional help. We are just humans after all, right? We are not like unbreakable robots or something. And yeah, for example, I really do feel tired. I think I cope well with the situation, but I really am tired. Maybe you can somehow feel this, sense it, but I'm not actually afraid to show it to you and I'm not gonna hide it because I have a, a human right to be tired in this situation under circumstances I have to work in, yeah. And the last two thoughts I've got for you today, guys. The first one is actually a missed one from before. Well, I've created a financial plan for my small business and I'm really trying to keep my discipline and to follow this plan. Yeah, and I think it's good to have such a plan and to follow it because it really did help me to cast my to cut my costs and to keep my business sustainable for the following months. And the only point I'm really not following in this plan is spending money on food. I would say, yeah, eating consumes too much of my budget. But yeah, that's actually the last thought or, or a wish or, or my best wishes to you, I would even say, please eat well, 
sleep well and get some exercise. This is not about business or studio. This is just about our health and about our life, the quality of our life in, in general. And just let me say this because I believe it's simple, but it needs to be said and it needs to be followed and remembered. So this is what I wish to all of us, that we eat well, sleep well, we get some exercise and movement and that we just keep going and let's stay strong, guys. Let's create beautiful music, beautiful sound. I hope to see you soon with a regular episode of some audio goodies I've got for you out there. And for now, take care. See you soon.